and this system we've got two serial drives here because then we can actually adjust the size of our field as needed we see the little bleeding of the local anesthetic injection i use mapivacuin one percent two milliliters in total for the block of the supraclavicular nerves and the local anesthetic for the interscaling catheter i use 10 milliliters of uh, 0.75 ropey vacuum and the total injection volume will be something between six and eight milliliters this catheter uh, system <coughs> uh, i will fill it now and the uh, it is a system that is with like uh, comparable to an intravenous cannula uh, which I have here and the needle is inside this cannula and uh, so once the needle tip is in the right position I inject like uh, the main dosage and then I remove the needle um, the cannula stays in and I insert the uh, the catheter inside this cannula and uh, then I fix it because it can't be inserted as um, as deep as anyone wants it has a fixed position and that is quite good because uh, several openings of this uh, catheter will end up exactly in the position where the needle tip was before it has got a blind end of 15 millimeters in order to uh, have a better catheter fixation in the tissue a little bit of liquid here and now I take the syringe in my hand first so I can actually aspirate and inject with my thumb put the needle between my uh, fingers here uh, make sure that the bevel is directed upwards towards the probe and I do like the insertion in the skin without ultrasound because it is um, far up and uh, exactly where I had the local anesthetic jetzt drückt mal kurz ein bisschen through the skin and then I use the same tunnel to go down here and now I start with the ultrasound the marker is directed to my own left eye so it should be a good image orientation now increase gain increase gain now I'm quite happy with uh, the image I go for the uh, superior trunk which is right here and as you see the artery um, is, um, is quite deep so I, I'm not really worried about this but I go slightly higher that it's not going to be in my needle trajectory now I insert the needle very very superficial now it comes to the, um, the superficial cervical fascia I make it steeper to penetrate it with a little click okay and now I inject it right here there it is so the spread of the local anesthetic is posterior to the superior trunk and I've got like um, five milliliters right now I put the probe aside normally I would have started a screen a, a, um, a video however it's on the screen video anyway so I take out the needle the cannula stays in I connect the syringe to the filter of the catheter and the only thing that really needs to be sterile in this system is this little part and I put it in in a no touch technique and it's like a screw so now it is in and I can't put it in any any deeper and now as uh, as always I do a catheter position control freeze now we've got the image again and this is the position I had before capture video the video is running you see the artery down there slightly higher and now I inject and you see the spread is exactly where it should be and now I've got in total seven milliliters capture video we'll stop the recording and now the only thing that needs to be done is catheter fixation and general anesthesia and that's it and now as a matter of interest we will just take another look on the on the diaphragm and see what it does uh, here it is a little more gain a little bit more depth okay capture video mal tief ein und ausatmen und ausatmen und einatmen 
Okay, so we've got a dirty curtain. So at the moment, the diaphragm is functioning perfectly well. Capture video, we'll stop the recording. So at the moment, there is a perfect diaphragmatic function after injection of a volume of seven milliliters of Ropivacin, 0.75%.